Let's start with the question that you always say you get first. What's with the name? <laughs> My first memory of Barry Obama, we talked about how there were only four black students in the school. I was struggling with racial identity. The solution for me was to throw myself into the community. Black people were very skeptical. Who's your mama? Who's your daddy? What's your background? Is he going to take our issues seriously? But as a politician, you don't want to alienate your white fellow citizens coming out of the box. There were people chanting, race doesn't matter. That was more of a hope than a reality. When you study history, every time we made a step forward, there was always a backlash. Racism is a convenient tool used by those who want power. Barack Obama was met with an absolute wall of recalcitrance. Healthcare reform, the economy. Wars in the Middle East. Racial inequality. He's trying to find middle ground, only to realize that the Republicans don't want him to be successful in any way. It was all about race. We deeply underestimate the power of hate. I'm with my people, you're with yours. The less you talk openly about race, the better. Then Trayvon Martin is killed. Bit by bit, as president of the United States, he allows himself more sense of grief and outrage. If I had a son, he'd look like Trayvon. All of us are going to take this with the seriousness it deserves. Obama gets black for the first black presidency only being symbolic, but people underrate the value of symbols. He was on a mission to create a sense of community, a sense of family. We may have different stories, but we hold common hopes. We may not look the same, but we all want to move towards a better future. We have no choice if we are to continue on the path of a more perfect union.